Hey everybody, Chris again at U-Joint. So, wrapping up, this is the final video for this van. This van's gotten a lot of video love since it's been here. This is a 2014 E350 5.4. Um, if you didn't watch my first two videos on this van, please do. I go into detail about what we fixed and what we redid. Um, this van was originally built by CCV in Colorado last year, last spring, and he's had just a lot of problems with it since then. And if you watch my videos, you'll see what we found and then what we fixed. So uh, the van now has our six inch kit on 33s. We kept his existing tires and wheels because there was nothing wrong with them. And uh, he, once he wears these tires out, he can go up to a 35. We still got plenty of tread left. Six inch kit, custom spec springs, front and rear. All of our usual goodies, track bar, single Fox 2.0. Uh, we left the transfer case alone, no issue with it except adding a vent. And uh, we did a stage two front axle with the RSC upgrade and 456 gears, Detroit True Track, 14 and a half inch diameter rotors, all the stuff that comes with our stage three front axle. Up front, we upgraded to an Illumines bumper with some hella black magic lights. Around the side, we've got our side steps a little dirty and out back we've got another luminous bumper uh, this van came in with pretty much all the lights on in the dash we've got the TPMS fixed we got the RSC and the ABS fixed that was due to the it having the incorrect rear axle with no ABS so we um, replaced it with a 2017 Sterling 10 and a half and we put 456 gears in I uh, redid all the ABS and the brake lines and the shock mounts. Turned out really nice. Also out back, you'll see our rear skid. We relocated an auxiliary battery and the EVAP canister to the rear skid. Again, more info on that on my second video that I did with this van. Um, out back, we've got an Illumines bumper with some LED lights. Turned out super nice. Um, what else? Uh, so I talked about the lights. We got the RSC light off, the ABS light is off, the TPMS is reprogrammed. All that's left is an airbag light, it has something to do with the passenger seat. We checked the wiring real quick and um, there's nothing there. The ABS module they had unplugged, I guess in hopes to turn off the light or disabling that system, but that didn't work either. So we replugged up the ABS module and all is good. Here's our passenger side sidestep. And yeah, this thing's ready. It's at the road miles stage right now. So we're just gonna keep putting miles on it and let him come pick it up soon. So again, if you didn't watch the first two videos, do your research. Please do your research before you pick a builder. Sometimes going one place and getting everything done isn't the best option. You need to find a specialist. I'm sorry that we don't offer everything under one roof, but we know what we do. We know what we do well. We focus on that, and that's why we're backed up over a year, uh, turning out the best vans in the U.S. and the world. So, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Again, be sure to watch my first two videos. And I'm not a high top expert, but I'm pretty sure there shouldn't be gaps here. I can stick my hand up on the side of the top. When I first saw that, I thought maybe the top was off to one side but it's not. There's huge gaps on this side too. This one's actually even worse. There's leaves and stuff in here. So, yeah. Do your research. If you want a pop top, go to Sportsmobile. That's their gig. They created it. They're the best. That's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. See ya.